Hey guys, welcome back for more. It is Callus Invitational 3 Play In Tournament Content. This is an unfortunate round one pairing between two fan favorites here. Sadly, Sias, one of the nicest guys in the community, somebody who has already helped me out a great deal with this tournament, including making that badass trailer that's been very well received. And then on the other side, we have Finch, one of my longest Pokemon friends. I've known him pretty much since I've been involved in the competitive scene. And he's always been nice to me and has been fair with me. I have had a good relationship with him for a long time. So this is not really a pairing that I want to see, but the pairings were random. And sometimes this is the way it goes. So one of these guys, unfortunately, is going to get knocked out and will not have the opportunity to continue playing for a spot in Callus Invitational 3. So as with all these play-in matches, this is a best of three. And here is the first game. Sadly, see us on the bottom with a T-Tar. Finch on top, also with a T-Tar. Here's the pullback to Skarm. Finch is going to stay in, go Earthquake. Obviously going to whiff on a Flying Poke. And there is Spikes from Sadly, see us being met with a Jirachi. Combine and Spikes layer number two here. Fire Punch at plus one, 58%. No burn. And Roar is going to drag out a Porygon 2. Interesting. I don't know if that means it's a combine spam team or if he just has a lot of Dougie weaknesses. He's already shown two of them in the T Tower and the Jirachi. There's been a good amount of Porygon 2 in these, actually. I'm surprised. Porygon 2 is a poke that a lot of the top ADVers do not think is good at all, but I've seen a good amount of him in this. Thunderbolt connecting with Bliss here, so sadly, Seas bringing a. Very traditional Skarm Bliss team. Again, you could probably just fill out the rest with Swampert, and then the last two could be some combo of Gengar, Dugtrio, Claydol. It's actually my Lotic here, but that is a very relevant piece of hacks. Despite being paralyzed, Rockslide going to immediately crit and kill the my Lotic. That changes the game in a big way, so that jumps Finch out to a very early lead. And he killed an important poke, too. It's not like he killed the Skarm or the Claydol or something. Killing the Milotic is a big deal. Killing the bulky water on any given team is really a setback. So, very important piece of hacks there. Finch should be in a pretty damn good position going forward. Let's see if he can snowball his lead. Deltrio coming in for Finch. Sneaks in on the soft-boiled turn here from Bliss, but Bliss is out of Earthquake range. Finch goes for it anyway, leaves him at 30%. Ice Beam kills Dugtrio, possibly because of the Spikes damage, but Blissey pretty low now after Toxic kicks in. She's going to be at just 5%, but sadly he's going to fight to keep her around. I don't like that switch. He's going to sacrifice his 100% Dugtrio here, brings that into the Celebi and gets thwomped by Giga Drain. That seems like a pretty bad decision as far as I'm concerned. Giga Drain does big damage to T-Tar as well with a crit. So Finch has had a couple of nice crits this game, but nonetheless, Hidden Power on the Retaliation is going to take out the Celebi. So we find ourselves in a 4-4, but I really don't know about throwing away the Doug Trio like that from Sadly Seas. If this is, in fact, a Combine spam team, Dougie seems pretty helpful. Granted, there is a Porygon 2 on the other side, but that is still not justification to throw away a 100% healthy Pokemon that had some amount of purpose for sure. Nevertheless, like I said, 4-4, four four, one poke unrevealed. It belongs to Finch. Here's Rock Slide trying to get a crit, a, f a full power, or a flinch. Any of those would suffice in this situation, and he does get the full power. Rock Slide connects on the follow-up. Porygon 2 goes down. We've got ourselves a 3-3. Three, three. Here's Rachi staring down T-Tar. Hidden Power going to leave it at 1%. And Earthquake going to leave Jirachi at 0%. So a 3-2 advantage for Sadly CS, but a lot of his stuff is in shambles. Last Poke Coon comes out for Finch, and it looks to me like that should be able to clean up in this situation and win Finch the game. Not like that, it won't. There's a Hydro Pump miss, but sadly unable to capitalize on it. He's going to miss as well with his Toxic. Hydro Pump number two, it hits this time, but Toxic number two misses again. There have been some one-sided hacks in this game. Finch with two very important crits, and he gets those Toxic misses there. Some of these things mattered more than others, but Finch definitely the beneficiary of some BS. 
and he is going to ride that to a 2-0 Game 1 victory. Sadly, Sia's going to have to rattle off two in a row to continue fighting for his spot. Otherwise, it's going to be fan favorite Finchinator continuing on. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this, and Game 2 is coming up next.